And every day here at the Ozark Empire Fair, we're featuring a street performer that you can see walking around the Midway. And Cheryl Matthews is standing by with one of them now. Cheryl? Amy, we are right here in the middle of the Midway where there's a lot of fun going on, a lot of games and exhibits, and there's so many things going on all over the fair, but there's one exhibit that is here every year that roams all over the fairgrounds, and that's the street performers. Joining me is Jim Cruz, alias is the Spoon Man. Could you tell us how you got involved playing the spoons? Well, when I was nine years old, I wanted a drum set. My mom and dad wouldn't let me have one. So I saw my grandfather play the spoons for me one day, so I got the idea from my grandpa went to the kitchen drawer, pulled out a pair of spoons, and they became my imaginary drum set that I never got. Now, did this ever become a problem when you were sitting at the kitchen table playing the spoons instead of eating your dinner? Well, I have to admit, it did drive my mom and dad crazy, just as a drum set would have, so I, I did kind of get even with them about that. So since you didn't get the drum set, you still got to make a lot of noise. That's right, I did. I now, did. This, what kind of spoons can you use? Can I go pick out a pair of spoons out of my kitchen drawer and use them? Sure, what I use are um, two tablespoons. Uh, my, when I was smaller I used two teaspoons, but as my hands grew bigger I used two tablespoons. These are regular, ordinary household tablespoons with some tape wrapped around the handle. There's nothing special about them. Okay, let's see what you got. I think you're going to use me as a demonstration here too, aren't you? That's correct. Okay. All right. Jim says the spoon man says to come out to the fair because it's better to get spooned than knifed or forked. So Amy, we'll send it back to you. Hey, a slogan to live by. Thanks, Cheryl.